Hello friends, if your Adobe Premiere Pro program doesn't use at least 90% of your machine's CPU while rendering a video, then I have a solution for you. So I'm going to file, export, media. Now I'm clicking on export. Let's see the task manager. As you can see, rendering process is using very low CPU. And the estimated time remaining here is 2 hour and 40 minutes, which is practical for this PC. It should be much faster. So I'm canceling this current rendering process and exporting this video to Adobe Media Encoder program. By the way, Adobe Media Encoder is a different program which have to be installed in your PC. That video is now queued here in this Adobe Media Encoder program. Now I am clicking on Start Queue. Let's check the CPU usage now in the Task Manager. You can see it is still very low. Do you wonder why? This is because of wrong selection of rendering engine. Currently, it is selected to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. Let's try another option, which is Mercury Playback Engine Software Only. But before trying that render engine, we must have to restart this Adobe Media Encoder program. So, I am aborting this current rendering process by clicking on the Stop Queue button and it is asking me if I want to finish the current file before stopping the queue. I am clicking on no because I want to start from the beginning. Now I am closing this media encoder program entirely. Now again from the Adobe Premiere Pro's file menu, I am going to export then media and then queue to Adobe media encoder. Don't worry about this queue item, it is from previous time. This is the latest queue item. In this time, I am gonna choose another render engine which is Mercury Playback Engine Software Only. After starting the process, let's check the CPU usage statistics. In the task manager, we can see that the CPU usage is very high, but it is below 90%. The reason of it is that the screen recording software is consuming about 10% of CPU. The last and the most important thing here is that the estimated render time is very short now. It is showing about 32 minutes, which is great. Thanks for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribe.